say bye bye to this house. Bye bye. <laughs> and we're going to a new house today, right? Yeah. How are we getting there? Because that's why we're going to drive a train go there. A train? Yeah. A big train, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, so we are leaving Budapest. We're packing up. Finn's asleep, and as soon as he's awake, we're gonna hop in a cab and start this travel day. Today's travel day is gonna be just a little bit different than our normal travel days. Um, so we're excited. We really can't believe we're saying goodbye to Budapest already. Um, it's such a cool city and it deserves so much more time than we can give it right now, but um, we gotta go. And we have a really exciting travel day uh, planned today. Did you have fun in Budapest, bud? Yeah. Do you like this city? Yeah. Yeah? I like this one. You like this one? Yeah. We're going to a new house today. Yeah. With a new place to play and a new cozy bed. Right? Yeah, I mean, we have been living in a new house on a weekly basis, pretty much, for the past few months. And this guy just still rolls with the punches, goes with the flow, accepts wherever we are, and it's just been so really incredible, actually. Really, really cool. Um, he's not easy by any means. I will. But that part in particular has been uh, really great. It's very adaptable. I can roll. You can roll. I can roll like this. <laughs> good job. Hi. Do you have a good sleep? There's no elevator to get up many right. flights of stairs. Okay. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. Made it with about five minutes to spare. We're assuming this is the right train. So we booked the family friendly section of the train and I didn't really know what that meant but they have like a little movie area and like a little mini theater style seating section for the kids to watch TV and games on the table. Yeah. So far it's awesome. Way to go Austria. Yeah. Oh by the way we're going to Austria. <laughs> Not like we mentioned that.
How are we enjoying our first train ride as a family? Okay. It's going good? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! Yeah! You like train rides? Yeah! Just you. Are you, yeah. are you enjoying your first train ride? Yeah, I've been able to work a little bit, which has been nice. And uh, we're going to be there in like half hour. So, pretty seamless. Yeah. Vienna was, Vienna was um, kind of at the top of our list for places we wanted to go to. We were in Salzburg a few years ago before Winston was born and just loved it. And ever since then I wanted to come back and see Vienna. And here we are. Yeah, we're on our way, 20 minutes away. Vienna was, uh, we saw that for a couple years it was rated like number one place to live in the world. And so yeah, we're curious to see why that might be. Probably won't find out in just a week, but we'll try to take in as much as we can. We're staying basically right downtown, kind of in the city center, a few minutes from the city center. Yeah, we're excited about our apartment. We got a very nice Airbnb with like a little terrace and I think it's on like floor six, so we'll maybe get even a little view of the area. Yeah, I'm just excited to be there. Yeah, just to be in Vienna. Researching a bunch of kid-friendly stuff we can do. It seems like there's so many options. Um, and and <laughs> um, I don't know, I just love like that classical feeling that, that Salzburg has and I'm assuming Vienna has as well. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to learn a little bit more about the history and just see all the beautiful buildings and enjoy some schnitzel, some schnegel. Yeah. yeah, some schnegel. People were saying that Budapest is one of the prettiest cities in Europe. Obviously that's an opinion. But um, a lot of comments were basically saying that Vienna is kind of right above it. So it's interesting because they're only three hours apart and people are seeing them as like kind of the top two most beautiful cities in Europe. And so we're curious to see what it's like. We thought Bud Budapest was unbelievable. So beautiful. Like, I don't know how we could top that. Yeah. Like, it's gorgeous. Yeah, we were actually saying like, Oh, after Budapest, it's going to feel like there's no city that will appreciate as much as far as like the beauty of the city goes. But it seems to change everywhere we go. It seems like, oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> no matter where we are. Each city has its own unique character, and once you kind of figure that out, it just becomes so much more charming. Yeah. yeah. But Vienna and Sal we went to Salzburg, like she said, but it was it's so far away from Vienna. Like it's basically yeah. across the other yeah. side of the country. So curious to see how similar or how different it is. Yeah, we should be there in what's the sign say? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So I'm sleepy. <laughs> I want some schnitzel. <laughs> okay. What is happening? Look at this. We were literally just saying how much it looked like Manitoba. Wait a second, where are we? What kind of train is this? Hours away, two and a half hours away from Budapest, but it feels like it's 20 degrees colder. What's with that? Anyway, so we'll be there in a few minutes. Alright, we have arrived. Finally. 
we met up with our host here at our apartment. And he was super helpful, super friendly. Um, so we're just feeling good right now. I just put Finn down for a nap. Um, so yeah, come check out the apartment. Okay, so I've got a nice little washroom in here. That's where Finn's sleeping. The kitchen. This little living room area. Got the Netflix pumping for Winston already. We've got a nice little balcony out here. Our bedroom. Oh, let's see the closet. Oh. Wow. That is a real treat. We have our own little balcony out here, which is super cute. It is freezing outside, so we will not be using it today, but hopefully it will warm up. And yeah, that's about it. Really nice little place. They even provided us with a little high chair for Finn, which is awesome. There's a couple little board games here. And something I'm very excited about, the toaster. We've been waiting weeks <laughs> to have a toaster again. I've been making toast on, on frying pans and it just does, it's not the same. It's not the same. We've got some coffee and some cookies. We are ready to go. Our host also had a whole bunch of great recommendations for things to do and see, um, so. He was actually from Hungary. So he actually lived in Budapest, where we just came from. Um, and now he lives in Vienna. And so we're like, which one do you prefer? Like, which one's better? Because people are, are always comparing the two. Um, and he's like, well, Budapest, if you thought Budap Budapest was beautiful, um, and yeah, it's got a good vibe, but you will wait till you see Vienna. He's like, it's just amazing, he said. So, um, yeah, that's exciting. And I just noticed there's some treats on the table. Yeah, no, it's a small treat. Yum. No me treat for me. My all-time favorite feature of any Airbnb. Right here, the washer slash dryer. It does both. And they provided soap. It's the best. You guys should feel this towel warmer. <laughs> Rick is doing the true test of every Airbnb. The only test that matters. 34 down and 22 up. We're dancing. <laughs> we are dancing. Now, I'm gonna eat my sandwich that I bought at the train station. Super cold and mushy. First meal in Vienna. And it is. How long should I record this? All right, most travel days end with uh, some shopping. So that's what we're doing right now. There's a, sh a grocery store just a block away from our place. So yeah, that's about it. We're gonna pick up some groceries and then call it a night. Win in Vienna. Make your own schnitzel at home. Because <laughs> it's cheaper. Fritaten mit Schnittlauch. I think I'm pretty good at speaking German, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. 